Stars we observe in the night sky might seem stationary, but these stars are constantly evolving. Stars that had shone brightly until last night can disappear, and stars that didn't exist until last night can emerge anew, constantly attempting change. Stars present varying surface features day by day. New sunspots appear and disappear multiple times a day, and sudden eruptions can happen unexpectedly. Explosions occurring on a star's surface release immense plasma and particles into space at incredibly high speeds. If a planet orbiting the star collides directly with this plasma and particles, it can lead to the extinction of life forms or cause irreversible, severe damage to the entire planet. However, recently, it has been revealed that the most massive and powerful explosion of a star ever observed occurred in the Orion constellation. This explosion was about 10 times larger than the most powerful solar eruption ever recorded. However, did it have any impact on our planet Earth? On a star's surface, two major types of explosions occur, prominences and flares. These two explosions share the similarity of releasing intense solar energy within a short span, yet their specific characteristics differ. Initially, a prominence, unlike the corona's hot, bright columns of extremely hot plasma in one of the star's atmospheres called the corona, is composed of much colder plasma. Relative to the sun, prominences typically undergo a process of formation over about a day and can endure within the corona layer for several weeks. The size of prominences often exceeds several thousand kilometers, and the largest ones observed can stretch up to 350,000 kilometers in length. However, scientists have not yet been able to determine why prominences occur on the surface of stars or how these columns of fire can persist for a week. Flares are even more intense than prominences. For the Sun, a flare's power equals millions of hydrogen bombs exploding simultaneously. Indeed, it's a truly remarkable level of destructiveness. This flare occurs in the layers akin to the Sun's atmosphere and the corona, heating plasma to tens of millions of degrees and accelerating particles, including electrons, protons, and heavy ions, near light speed. Even more alarming is that these much more powerful plasma, particles, and energy are all emitted in a matter of minutes. Furthermore, as solar flares intensify, a phenomenon called coronal mass ejection occurs, where particles that make up the plasma escape the star and fly away. If Earth directly faces such a coronal mass ejection, not only would satellite communications and phone usage be disrupted, but swiftly moving plasma particles could pass through the human body, potentially causing biochemical harm. The cause of these powerful flares, which can have such devastating effects, lies in the changing of magnetic energy. Magnetic energy refers to energy buildup from strong star magnetic fields converging, hindering smooth energy flow outwards due to magnetic effects. This occurs when a star's energy concentrates in an area. Stronger magnetic field convergence at a certain point generally results in greater energy concentration at that point. Due to ongoing magnetic field changes in stars, at times, concentrated magnetic flows on their surfaces shift, initiating magnetic reconnection fields disconnecting and reconnecting. During this process, when the magnetic fields concentrated at a certain point on the star's surface disconnect, the accumulated magnetic energy at that point is rapidly released outward, resulting in an explosive outburst known as a flare. In stars other than the Sun, a phenomenon called stellar flare happens when gathered magnetic energy is swiftly released, causing a flare. In this study, the strong explosion was found to result from such a stellar flare in a non-Sun star. To observe the stellar flare, researchers focused on two stars named V1355 and Orion, located about 400 light-years away from Earth. The Orion constellation is visible in winter evenings and is a prominent and recognizable group of stars. Orion has bright stars, including a unique belt of three stars that makes it easily recognizable in the night sky. In this study, scientists observed V1355, which is situated slightly beside the Orion constellation, composed of two stars. These two stars, a yellow G-type and an orange K-type, revolve, forming an RSCVN-type celestial object called V1355, near Orion. One highly unique aspect of this RSCVN-type binary system is that the two stars exert strong electromagnetic influences on each other as they mutually revolve. Due to strong electromagnetic interaction, these binary stars have a remarkably high number of dark spots compared to other systems. 
These dense magnetic areas prevent energy from escaping, making them appear darker. It was quite natural that stars with a high number of spots like this would experience flares more frequently in general. However, the flares discovered in this study were different from the flares typically observed. This is due to the observation of the most powerful stellar flare ever recorded by humanity so far. In this study, researchers combined observations from the TESS telescope and Japan's SIMI telescope to confirm the occurrence of a super flare in this binary system. As a result, it was revealed that this flare originated from a prominence erupting at a staggering speed of 3.5 million kilometers per hour, exceeding the star's escape velocity. Due to its extreme velocity, the associated plasma, protons, and neutrons surged outward, triggering a coronal mass ejection and swiftly exploding into space. The explosion propelled protons and neutrons into space, with a combined weight reaching several zettatons. Scientists speculate that if Earth were directly hit by the protons, neutrons, and plasma from this zettaton-scale coronal mass ejection, it could disrupt all satellite orbits, sever communication, expose all life forms on Earth to radiation akin to proton and plasma exposure, and potentially lead to the disruption of Earth's magnetic field, posing the dire possibility of Earth's demise. Fortunately, Earth is not in the path of this flare's trajectory, so there's no risk of collision with the plasma particles expelled during the significant explosion. Furthermore, fortunately based on current observations, this powerful explosion did not affect any other planets. Instead, plasma and energy were discharged from the star into space without affecting other celestial bodies, 